PIO Mobile. Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Delta, Reading, 118.8 Hertz. Hi, and welcome back to another TechMinds video. So in this video, we're going to take a look at a project called RTL SDR Scanner. Now, once installed, this allows the user to scan and record multiple frequencies within the set bandwidth all at the same time. This means that if you have an RTL SDR with a sample rate of just over 2 MHz, then you can potentially record all transmissions that happen on the 2 meter handband at the same time. Now, it doesn't just record everything, only transmissions which then can be later played back through a nice web user interface as shown here on the screen. Now, as the UI runs in a browser, this means you can access it from anywhere on your network. Or if you port forward port 8000 through your router, you can even access it from the outside world. Not only can you listen to the recordings, but you can also download each of them as separate MP3 files. There is also spectrograph data that you can look at just for the recording or view for the entire bandwidth that's been set in the config file. So with an RTL SDR, you can have a maximum bandwidth for around 2 MHz. But the other device which this project supports is the Hack RF, where you can set the sample rate to provide up to 20 MHz of bandwidth. However, if you want to cover a larger frequency range than that of your device, then that's not a problem either. The configuration file allows you to set the frequency range and even add more frequency ranges to cover while it's scanning. Now for this demonstration, I'll use my RTL SDR dongle connected to my outside antenna. One thing that I had noticed is that every time I made a change in the configuration, I had to remove and reinsert the dongle for it to work. So just keep that in mind if something doesn't work. To install RTL SDR scanner, you can use Docker. Now I originally tried installing Debian on an Orange Pi, but I had issues with Docker. So then I opted to install VMware Player on my PC and then install the latest release of Linux Ubuntu. I did also try running desktop Docker for Windows, but I could not get Docker to recognize the RTL SDR USB device. Maybe some of you Docker gurus might be able to suggest a way of getting Docker desktop on Windows to recognize SDR devices. Then we could run this natively on Windows. Otherwise, you'll need to run some form of Linux. Now this project records everything that's set within the config parameters. So potentially there could be hundreds of recordings if left for the day or even a couple of hours. The user interface does have some nice filtering. So for example, if you just wanted to listen to CQ calls made on the calling frequency of 145500, then you can select this frequency range from the top drop down box. Now once set, you just press the filter button and only recordings for that frequency range will be shown. G7WIA calling CQ and standing by. G4YKQ, G4YKQ, G0 SOR calling. G8NRR2E0BIO Now, as this project can record a huge chunk of bandwidth at the same time, I thought this might be good for recording aircraft communications. So I set the frequency range from 108 megahertz up to 137 megahertz and then left it recording for a while. Now, after coming back to check, I'd noticed lots of transmissions recorded. Even the type field of each recording had changed to AM for amplitude modulation, which aircraft transmissions use. However, they would not play. Now, after looking on the GitHub page for this project, it appears that AM demodulation is currently not supported. I think if enough of us leave a message for the developer, maybe they might add it soon. So let's take a look at how I installed and got this project working. Firstly, there are some prerequisites that I will not cover in this video as it will take far too long. But firstly, you will obviously need your SDR receiver and a suitable antenna. Next, you'll need a Linux computer. Now, as mentioned before, I'm using VMware Workstation Player and installed the latest version of Ubuntu. Now, luckily, VMware Workstation Player and Ubuntu are completely free for personal use. You simply need to install VMware Player and then download the Ubuntu OS image and then install it into VMware Player. You'll then have a working Linux system on your Windows computer. 
And once we're into our Linux operating system, you'll need to make sure that you have Docker and Docker Compose installed. Then we need to make sure that your SDR device, whether it's an RTL SDR or HackRF, is working on your Linux installation. So for this, I downloaded and installed SDR++ just to make sure that it's working. You'll also need to add some entries to the kernel blacklist so that the system doesn't hog the RTL SDR. Once the prerequisites are met, you can go ahead and install RTL Scanner, which in fact is quite easy. So from a terminal window, enter the following commands as shown on the GitHub page like this. Now there are only a few lines of code to enter and installation should only take a few minutes, depending on your internet connection. Also, ensure that your RTL SDR device is connected to your computer and it's associated with your virtual machine if you're using one. Now the configuration file config.json is where you specify the frequency range. Now if you edit this, you will need to restart the Docker image. You can close it down and open it again to reload the config. After a while, come back and you should see lots of recordings that you can listen to, download, or even view the spectrograph for. Now obviously, this is dependent on traffic in your area and how good your antenna system is. So there we go guys, that's the SDR scanner project that I come across while searching for RTL SDR applications on GitHub. I think it's a pretty cool idea and if in the future they can include AM demodulation, I think it'd be quite a useful project to use and maybe even have running on something like a Raspberry Pi, Orange Pi or some kind of single board computer. If you already use this or have any advice on installation or settings that I've shown in this video, then please feel free to leave them down below. I'm not really a Linux expert, but I do like to learn new things. Until the next video, stay safe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Golf Bravo 3, Romeo Delta, Reading, 118.8 Hertz. G8NRR, 2 bio Mobile Corp, you bought the radio, Roy. CQ, 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 G7WIA, calling CQ and standing by. G4YKQ, G4YKQ, G0, SOR calling. G8NRR, 2E0, BIO mobile.